<clears throat> these here are the counterfeits. We have Bronte counterfeit, Quacker without wings counterfeit, Peking counterfeit, uh, New Face J, Old Face J Teddy counterfeit, Bumble counterfeit, and New Face Magenta uh, Teddy counterfeit. Right, the way you mostly the way you could tell that they're counterfeits is the eyes are shooting out. Authentic <clears throat> Thai products have the eyes more into the fabric. You can see the peaking, the eyes are shooting out. Obviously the Bronte. You can see the quackers, right? Eyes shooting out a little. Um, the new face Jade Teddy, you know, those are a little bit in more, but um, we I did go over another video why it looks counterfeit. Another way you could tell they're counterfeit is by the uh, tush tag. Right? You'll if you if we go here, right, you see after the ink on the top row, there should be a dot comma. So all of these do not. Here's the peaking. All right. All right. Dot. Dot there. Let's see. Um, this is a second generation touch tag. So there's, you'll see that the T and the Y are completely different on an authentic one. So you could tell that. But also the eyes here are the tell. All right. This this is actually a. A fourth, a third generation tush tag, so it's tough to tell. It's actually not a bad counterfeit, but there's no uh, second. There's no being with a second generation hang tag and a fourth generation tush tag. Uh, this one, the tush tag is the tell, right? Dot dot, and then dot dot. All right, so there you go. So even though they are all um, counterfeits. Right? They were mass-produced during a time when the, uh, these were all rare and selling for a lot of money. So they, you know, people would obviously try to fake them and sell them for the money that they're worth and make a ton of money, unfortunately. But now they're still considered collectible. It's, they're still not easy to find. Right? The Peking's easy to find. But the Bumble, the New Face, right? some of these counterfeits are not easy. The Quackers, the Bronte, I don't see many of. So these are all still pretty cool, sought after by collectors. And I'm looking to collect a few more. People do try to sell them for stupid prices still, and I'll, you know, I'm in no rush, so I'll continue to monitor the market. But yeah, these are, this is the current counterfeit collection.